Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto Him who spread out the heavens and established the
Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. Amen. Let me remind you you're on holy ground because the Lord is present here. Be aware of His presence and be joyful in it. Let, I encourage everyone, let's set aside all anxieties and concerns. Focus on worshiping the Lord today. It's all about Him. The next couple hours, let's focus on Him and worship Him. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And God spoke all this word. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven, above, or on the earth, beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord, your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Honor your father and your mother. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not murder. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not commit <clears throat> adultery. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not steal. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. You shall not covet your neighbor's house or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Lord, have mercy upon us and write these your laws in our hearts. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, most, most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess that I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what I have done and by what I have left undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry, and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. A proclamation of the Word of God from the book of Exodus, chapter 20, beginning at verse 1. Then God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, or any likeness of what is in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the water under the earth. You shall not worship them or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, on the third and the fourth generations of those who hate me but showing loving kindness to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave him unpunished who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your works, but the seventh day, is the Sabbath of the Lord, your God. In it, you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male or your female servants, or your cattle or your sojourner who stays with you. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord bless the Sabbath day and make it holy. Honor your father and mother, that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or female servant or his ox or his donkey and anything that belongs to your neighbor. The word of the Lord.
Please stand for the responsorial psalm, which is taken from Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are, are true, they are righteous altogether. They are more desirable than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Acquit me of hidden faults. Also keep back your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, and I shall be acquitted of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Proclamation of the Word of God from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the cleverness of the clever I will set aside. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? 
Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not come to know God. God was well pleased through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For indeed, Jews ask for signs and Greeks search for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to Jews a stumbling block and to Gentiles foolishness. But to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. The Word of the Lord. Please stand. You are righteous, O Lord, and your judgments are upright. You have commanded your testimonies in righteousness and exceeding faithfulness. spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, on our lips, and on our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. We are reading now the Saint, from St. John's gospel, chapter 2, beginning at verse 13. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and he found in the temple those who were selling oxen and sheep and doves and the money changers seated at their tables. He made a scores of cords and drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen, and he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who were selling the doves, he said, Take these things away. Stop making Father's house a place of business. He 
His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign do you show us as your authority for this, doing these things? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It took 40 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. So when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he said this, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. Please be seated. We continue our journey the, as we walk the Pilgrim Way of Lent. Third Sunday in Lent na po ngayon. Dalawang Sunday na lang. Pagkatapos nun, Palm Sunday na, Holy Week na. Okay? So, continue to prepare your hearts and minds and go through Holy Week, but we always look to Easter. Through Holy Week to Easter. Palaging ang ending niyan, buhay. Okay? New life. That's what God intends for all, for everyone, is to have His life. Yung Gospel ngayon also reflects that, no? God's intention for all to have life. Yung, yung Gospel ngayon, uh, tells the story of what is known as the cleansing of the temple. Nagalit daw si Jesus, pinag, pinagtataboy niya yung mga vendors, money changers, etc. Understand what the message is of the story. The bottom line is, gustong linisin ng Panginoon yung kanyang templo. Sino ang tunay na templo niya ngayon? We. We are the temple of God. Okay? What was happening in the temple at that time? To understand that the original intention of God for the temple is similar to what Eden was. Put your finger on that. We'll get back to that later. Yung temple, ang sinabi ni, ni Isaiah, by the way, si, si Isaiah ang quinote ni Jesus. Eh. Sinabi niya, my house will be a house of prayer for all, all nations. Sabi ni Isaiah, uh, my house will be a house for all nations. Ang ibig sabihin ng nations, Gentiles. Tandaan natin, no, yung mga Israelites, ang isip nila, sila, mga Israelita, banal, anak ng Diyos. Gentiles, marumi, makasalanan. And it's no different than the thinking of many Christians today. We are Christians. Others, we don't call them Gentiles. We call them unbelievers. Only we are favored by God. They are cursed. We are blessed. They are cursed. We're chosen. 
ah, too bad for them. We're going to heaven, they're going to hell. Then yan ang thinking ng, ng karamihan. No? But the temple was meant to be a house of prayer for all nations. Which means, it's just a starting point. Parang yung Eden, Eden was not intended to be, to be one place on earth. So that it's only there, it's paradise. Outside, it's not. No, 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 no. And sabi ni, ni God kay Adam and Eve, start there. And then, spread that paradise. Subdue the earth. Multiply. And that's what the church is. That was the, that, that's what the temple was. That's what the church is. A starting point. So that all may receive the blessing of God. Ano ba sinabi ni God kay Abraham? Through you, what? All nations will be blessed. Through you. Magsisimula sa'yo sa pamamagitan mo. Always like that. Okay? Understand that. What, what was intended for inclusion became now a symbol of exclusion, of discrimination, of classification, of stratification. Kaya dun sa templo, merong holy of holies, only one person, once a year, can enter that place. And then there's uh, the holy place, no? And then there's another place only for the Jews. Male Jews. Pagkatapos nun, female Jews. Pasensya na kayo, mga babae, ha? you're less than men. <laughs> you're more in number, but you're less in status. But after that, there's the court of the Gentiles. Pati in Gentiles, may classification. Male Gentiles, mas malapit sila. Female Gentiles, andun sila sa, ano, sa general admission, sa bleachers. And that's what Jesus is, is trying, is destroying. That thinking. That I'm better than you. Diba? Pharisaic thinking. Lord, butin lang, blines mo ko, ginawa mo kong mabait. You know, the, the, the Pharisee in the parable sincerely thought that. Butin lang, ginawa mo kong mabait. Buti na lang ginawa mo kong masunurin. Buti na lang lumaki ako sa sinagog. Good for him. Buti na lang pinalaki ako ng magulang ko na religyoso. Na nagsisimba, na ma, ma, may magandang konsyensya. Hindi katulad nitong ano. Nasa likod ko, buti nga. Doon lang siya sa likod. Di ba? Kasi sugarol, lasenggo, babaero. Di ba? Forgetting that he is a starting point. Lagi kong sinasabi ito, di, di ba? Lahat tayo magkakapatid. Kaya nga si, si, si God in Christ became man and He is not ashamed to call all of us brothers. We're all brothers of His. At siya, ang tawag sa kanya, firstborn. Di ba? Panganay. Tayo, nasa simbahan, nakakilala sa kanya, I would like to call us secondborn. Pero hindi tumitigil yun doon. There are others that must be born again after us. Right? Ganon yun eh. Ganon, no? Hindi natin dapat isipin na katulad nung uh, uh, what others think, no? We're the one true church. Only we will be saved. Meantime, 40 plus thousand other denominations say the same thing. We're the one true church. Kami lang ang maliligtas. Umanib na kayo, mga kapatid, sa aming samahan, sa aming iglesia. Dahil kami lang ang maliligtas. Siguro maliligtas kayo. Tama naman, dapat lang naman eh. Pero ang dahilan, kung bakit tayo naliligtas, bakit natin nakikilala ang Panginoon, e para yung kapatid natin, sa pamamagitan natin, makilala rin ang Panginoon. Dahil ang kanyang intensyon simula pa nung una e para maligtas, magkaroon ng buhay ang lahat. I wasted my time preparing my notes yesterday and I'm saying something different. I'm, I'm, I'm going to preempt myself. Uh, tomorrow, this is the 
what I intend to, to share in the homily for morning mass. It's out of uh, the Old Testament reading for daily office for tomorrow. And it's about, it's the story of Joseph and his brothers, right? Ando na tayo ngayon eh. Ando na sa point na nakapunta na sila sa Egypt. Hindi pa rin nila nakikilala si Joseph, second in command na sa Egypt. Yung tatay nila, si Jacob, ayaw niyang mawala kahit isa man sa kanyang lab, labindalawang anak na lalaki. I don't know if he had daughters. Pero pumunta sila sa Egypt, yung mga anak niya, uh, yung unang punta nila, eh, ginawang, eh, ginawang uh, plano si Joseph, nag, nag, ano, nag, nag-plant ng, ng krimen. Tapos iniwan yung isang kapatid nila, si Simeon. Tapos sinabi nila, sinabi ni Joseph, sige, patunayan yung hindi kayo mga espiya. Sige, bumalik kayo sa tatay ninyo, kunin nyo yung isang, anak ni, isang kapatid pa ninyo na naiwan, yung bunso, si Benjamin, na bumong kapatid ni Joseph. Yung iba, half-brothers lang eh. Pabumalik kayo dito para patunayan nyo sa akin hindi kayo mga espiya. He was just scheming. He knows what he's doing. right? So, <clears throat> ganun na nangyari, no? Nung nakabalik sila, gusto naman ni Joseph, iwan nila yung bunso, si Benjamin. Again, he was just, he was, uh, he was just doing something to, uh, to play with them or whatever. But he, he wasn't intending to hurt them. In fact, he finally revealed himself to them, that he was their, their brother. Nung sinabi ni Joseph kay, uh, sa mga kapatid niya, leave Benjamin behind. Ang sinabi ni, ni Judah, remember these brothers, they turned from selling their own brother to now willing to give their life for the sake of their brother. Right? Tatandaan niyo si Joseph, tinapon nila at binenta nila para, para maging alipin. And they repented from that. Now, sabi ni Judah, nung sinabi ni Joseph, iwan niyo yung kapatid ninyo dito. Sabi ni Judah ito, how can I go back to my father safe and sound without my brother? It will kill him. It will break his heart. It will kill him. Again, the intention of God, the father, which Joseph represents, I mean, uh, Jacob represents, his, his heart is for all to be saved, for not one to perish. Jacob wanted all of his sons to return back home to him safely. Pag merong isa na may iwan, na hindi saved, it will break his heart. Understand that. And Judah understood that. He said, how can I go back to my father's presence without my brother? See, that's how Christians think today, or not think today. What they do, what they understand is salvation is personal and individual. As long as I'm saved, good. We should ask the same question as Judah. How can I go into the presence of my father without my brother? Pwede ba natin sabihin kay Lord, Lord, I love you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And God will ask, where's your brother? Did you love your brother as yourself? You wanted to be safe and sound and saved? What about your brother? Salvation actually is being like Jesus, saved from our sins. Ano ba yung sabi ng sin? Turn toward self, makasarili. And that's what, become of, what has become of salvation is makasarili. Diba? Turn from, uh, to self. We're saved from that to being like Jesus. Jesus who would not leave hell without first emptying it. Ganda nung sinabi ng isang monghe, orthodox monk. I've said this many times before, I think, but it's worth repeating. He said, 
you can be certain, you can be assured that as long as there is somebody in hell, Christ will remain there with him. And I, I, I mentioned something that, that is bordering on heresy earlier in the devotion. Sabi ko, actually, kung kinikilangan eh, mamatay uli si Jesus, mamamatay sa ulit. Para masiguro, lahat ng tao ay maligtas. Of course, he died once and for all, right? I'm, I'm talking about his attitude. He would give his life for the last soul to be saved. So understand that, no? Kasi yung, yung temple, naging ganun eh. Ang thinking ng mga pariseyo, eh, kami lang, exclusively, kami lang yung banal, kami lang yung napili ng Panginoon, kami lang yung pinagpala, yung iba, hindi. Hindi nila nakikilala ang Diyos. Ganon naman pala eh. <laughs> Pinaalam pala sa atin, we were made aware that our brothers don't know God. Then, ano nga ba yung mission natin dito? Ano nga yung mission natin sa diocese? To know God and to to whom? To those who don't know Him. Di ba? Hindi natin pwedeng itigil dun sa to know God. Okay, no. God, I know you already. I've loved you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay na yun. But Jesus said, the second commandment is like it. Is as important as it is. So, yun ang pinaka-message ng, ng cleansing of the temple, no? See, in, in Ephesians chapter 2, you can show the, the scripture on screen. Jesus died on the cross for this purpose, to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, Jews and Gentiles. Kasi nga, ang tingin ng Jews, exclusive, kami lang yung anak ng Diyos. No, no, no. Christ died so that all will be one new humanity. That's making peace. And in one body, to reconcile both to God through the cross on which he put to death their hostility, their enmity, their hatred, their division. Bakit namatay ang Panginoon sa, sa Cruz? Binigay niya yung buhay niya para wag, wag magkaroon ng division, para wag magkaroon ng discrimination. Para wag, wag isipin ng kahit sino, mas mabait ako kaysa sa iyo, mas matino ako kaysa sa iyo. Instead, we should have his humility, his attitude of even if, that's a big if, even if I seem to be better than others, no, I humbly lay my life down for them. The one person, the one man who made the grade, who is worthy, who is sinless, who is worthy to, to stand in the presence of God. Only one man, Jesus Christ. Joined his sinful brothers. Diba? Entered the waters of baptism to be baptized together with them so that he can be one with them and save all of them. That's the heart of our God. Kaya nga sabi ni St. Paul, don't tear down the work of God. The work of God is, through Jesus, is make all one, right? Don't tear down the work of God based on your standards. <laughs> no, no, no. God, Jesus already made everyone one, equal. Don't tear them down. Don't tear down the work of God just because you have biases in your mind. See, lahat tayo, unworthy. Sabi nga kanina, sa devotion, eh, sabi ko, Kung tayo, mga estudyante, wala tayong karapatan na kansawan o maliitin yung classmate natin na ang grade 65. Kasi mas mataas yung grade natin. Ang grade natin, 70. Di ba? O oh, ano, mas matalino ako sa'yo, no? mas magaling ako sa'yo. Eh sabi naman ng teacher, o oh, nga, pero pareho kayong bagsak. Di ba? Kasi ang passing grade, 75. So it's useless for you to say I'm better than my classmate pero kasi pareho kayong bagsak. 
pinasang-awa lang kayo ng Panginoon. Di ba? Ano ba yung sinabi natin sa, ano, um, sa kakulek? Uh, Almighty God, you know that we don't have power in ourselves to help ourselves. We don't have the ability to pass the test. Only the grace of God enables us to do that. So understand, everyone is a child of God. Everyone is a brother for whom Jesus died. And their worth is not measured by how much money they have, their sex, their uh, race, even their IQ. Diba? Hindi. Our worth is determined by this. We are the apple of God's eye. We are His beloved. That's it. All of us, all of us, enjoy that benefit. Diba? All of us. So, instead of tearing down, build up. Sabi ni St. Paul, let no harmful word come out of your mouth, but only such as is necessary for the need of the moment, such as edifies and gives grace. It is the devil who puts people on a guilt trip. Siya lang yung nanunumbat. Siya lang yung nag-aakusa. Siya lang yung nagtuturo ng daliri. But sabi natin, but, but Bishop, di ba sabi ni Jesus, there will be great, the people who are greater in the kingdom of God, the greatest in the kingdom of God is this and that. No, no, no. Our reward, our, all of us will, will be, are included in the family of God. I believe our reward is if we humble ourselves, if we love our brothers, our reward will be more joy for us. We discover the joy of being like Jesus, of laying down our life for our brother. But as far as grace is concerned, all of us have been given grace. Wala nang ibibigay si Lord na iba. Ang ganda nung kinanta natin kanina eh, sabi. Sure as thy truth shall last, to Zion shall be given the brightest superlative. Wala nang hihigit pa. The brightest glories earth can yield or can give. And brighter still, the bliss of heaven. So cleansing the temple is Jesus transforming his true temple, we, from being exclusive and hierarchical to being exclusive and loving. To being like Him. So no more borders, no more barriers, no more division. Like the French say, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Freedom, equality, and brotherhood. Diba? We start in the church. Actually, I would say further, start in the local church. Baka may iniisip kayo dito, eh, papatid ko na to, mahal ko yan eh. Pero, wala nang pag-asa yan, di ba? Matagal nang hindi matino yan. Hindi na magbabago yung buhay niyan, di ba? Palaging masungit yan, wala nang nakakainis yan, sinungaling yan, ganito yan, ganyan yan. Sipin natin, ba't kaya, ba't kaya pinapansin sa atin ni Lord yung mga kahinaan ng kapatid natin? Bakit kaya? <laughs> Di ba? Hindi kaya para sa pamamagitan natin, hindi siya itsismis, kundi maiakay siya sa tamang daan. Right? Could it be? That, 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 that's the reason? So, you know, I, I want to show what, what I quoted earlier. Isaiah chapter 56. It's God saying, I will bring to my holy mountain, to Zion, to Eden, to paradise, to heaven, if you want to use that word. I will bring to my holy mountain Gentiles. Pawal noon yan eh. Hindi pwede, di ba? Pinag-diskusyon pinag, uh, uh, pa nga yan nila Peter at nila Paul eh. sa, sa New Testament eh. Gentiles, I will bring to my holy mountain. That's unthinkable to a Jew. 
eunuchs, bawal yan eh. Di ba? Those with crushed testicles cannot minister at the altar. We don't inspect our altar ministers, okay, by the way. In the Old Testament, men with crushed testicles could not enter into the altar area and minister to God. Kung meron kang flow, yun yung uh, batas. I will bring to my holy mountain, their offerings will be acceptable to me. I will welcome them, their offerings will be acceptable to me. For my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, for all Gentiles. And they can be full members, just as Jews are members. So don't be like the brother of the prodigal son. Ganon din yung kwento nun, ganon din yung message nun eh. Yung, yung kapatid ng prodigal son, akala niya, mas, mas worthy siya. Di ba? Tay, pambira, ang sipag-sipag ko eh. Itong ilang dekada kitang pinagsilbihan. Tapos, you treat me, you treat him as my equal? And Father says, yes. As far as my love is concerned, yes. Your standards, that there's, we have no place for your standards in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, there's just love for all. So don't be like that, that prodig, the brother of the prodigal son, but be like Jesus. Have compassion, bring people near. Reconcile them to God because we're not judges. We're not separatists. We're ambassadors of, of what? Reconciliation. We're ambassadors of reconciliation. Okay, to reconcile everyone to God. Remember, we are Zion. A symbol. A symbol of what? A symbol of God's plan to, for everyone to be included. For everyone to know God. That's our calling. And that's the way it is in the kingdom of our God. So I'll stand. Let us now lift up the Nicene Creed. <clears throat> Together, we believe, we believe in, in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in and one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and is seated on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Lord and giver, giver of life, life who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. And we, we believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the Lord to come. Amen. Amen. Beloved in Christ, the season of Lent reminds us of the life God has set for His people to live. Let us pray to our merciful Lord for the grace to live in this life. Jehovah Sidkin, the Lord our righteousness, your word promises that sin should not rule over us, but that we should master it. Keep us from presumptuous sins and preserve us from hidden faults. Your word promises us that ability to serve your law in, in, in the inner man. Write your law in our hearts that we might not sin against you. Your word promises the zeal to perform your will. 
Consume us with this zeal that we fulfill all your purposes for us. Your word promises us forgiveness when we walk not in your grace. Grant us repentance and amendment of life. Your word promises perfect peace for those whose hearts are fixed on you. Fill our hearts with your love, the perfect bond of peace. Your word promises hope for the helpless and light for those in darkness. Empower us to combat evils that exploit your children. Your word promises health for the ill and infirm. Heal them in your compassion and power. Merciful Father, we seek your healing upon our brethren who are suffering from their sicknesses. We pray for Gloria, Tess, Charmaine, Grace, Joseph, Jose, Mitz, Kenneth, Merlin, Pe, Jemima, Maria Loreto, Per, Dennis, Maricris, Pedro, Antonio, Matilde, Julius, Emerson, Gavin and Rosma, Raisa, Mitchell, Elsie, Becca, Bergeli, Zain, Levy, Marisa, Vic, and Lenny. Lord, this is our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Your word promises us a portion in the land. Fulfill our corporate petition. The corporate petition, together, Almighty God, Almighty God and, and King, King, our, our dwelling place in all, all generations, generations, owner of the earth and all it contains, grant unto us our lauded inheritance, we pray, and, and the, the grace to build upon it facilities in which your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life. To the glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Increase in us the fruits of your word, O Lord of the harvest, that your glory may fill the whole earth. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Share with one another the sign of Christ's peace. God is good. We are thankful. God has granted us the brightest glories earth can yield.
We are blessed. We are a blessed people. And then, waiting for us still, the brighter joys of heaven. Napakapalad natin, pinagpala tayo, at tayo ay nagpapasalamat. Let us express a thanksgiving in our offerings this morning. Bless the Lord with the best of your gifts. Ang 
Ako dapat purihin Dakila ang Panginoon Kaya dapat dapat na purihin Kaya dapat na purihin Kaya dapat dapat na purihin Praise the Lord Come on church, give Him all your praises this morning Praise you Father Let us continue to worship Him church let us have an encounter with Him. Because when you feel His presence, there is no place you would rather be, church, than in His presence and in His love. So let us have this burning desire to really know Him, to want more of Him, church. Let's worship Him this morning. Praise the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty, for my soul.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the body of Christ. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed, Blessed be, God. be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and for the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. We are instructed to observe the Lord's table, to recall Christ's death. As long as we we eat this bread and drink this cup, we remember the Lord's death in which he gave himself for the life of the world. We remember. Those who are dismembered, we remember. We reconcile to God. We bring back. That's our responsibility because that's God's love for all men. and We are instruments and ambassadors of that reconciliation. Let us remember. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we pray of praise we acclaim. Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms on the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. So, Father, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, 
Your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people. The bread of life, the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, and awaiting his coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us this bread and this cup, we give you praise as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Grant that all who share this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember also, Craig, our patriarch, me, your servant, and all who minister in your church and teach the true faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember those for whom we now pray. And grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Joseph, her husband, with patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all the saints, and particularly Alejandrino, whom we ask that you would receive in the arms of your mercy, who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. And now, as our Savior Christ taught us, we are bold to pray.
Lamb of God, <clears throat> behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you and feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving.
All together, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Our help is in the name of the Lord. And pray for God's blessing. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as you go out from this place, always remember the gospel. God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world to Himself, not counting any man's sins against Him. God loves you. God has forgiven you. God is not angry at you. And God will never leave you nor forsake you. In the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.
Amen. For the uh, reception, uh, we, the, we, some announcements will be shared to us. Thank you. Good morning for 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 some announcement lang po. So, wag kayo mabibigla no, yung announcement announcement part natin will be after the recessional block loss. So, para yung worship natin kay Lord during liturgy, dire-diretso po siya. So, anyway, today is March, uh, first week of March. So, full pack po ang activities natin sa church. Uh, we encourage you to participate, especially on the coming uh, Holy Week. So, we'll start with that on March 16, there will be a Lenten Lenten retreat. So, sa March 16 po ito, this will be on a Saturday, uh, Saturday morning. So, pag Saturday morning, hindi naman po matraffic dyan sa labas, so madali po magpunta dito. So, please prepare your schedule uh, on how you will go here. March 16, we will have a Lenten retreat sa umaga lang po ito. Then, during the Holy Week, we'll have a Wednesday service at 6 p.m. And Thursday, meron po tayong 14, uh, 14th stage of the cross from from the Alive Youth. On, fr on Good Friday, we'll have a uh, Good Friday Mass and uh, Seven Last Words. Then Easter Vigil and six on Saturday and Easter naman on Sunday. So normally, ginagawa na naman natin ito. So uh, please prepare your schedule for that. That will start on March 25 ng Palm Sunday. Okay, then lastly, uh, next po is uh, church fans. Uh, we are right now a total of 12.6 million po yan. So 600 po lahat. So we, have, we are now at 12.6 million. Currently, we have uh, 426,000 in, uh, in the bank. Uh, for the, then for the next few weeks, ayusin po itong harap natin. So itong mga flooring natin. So, po. so hopefully before Holy Week, tapos na para makakapagluhod na tayo dito sa, sa sanctuary natin. So that will give us uh, 226 na labor. So, but the to let yung fans natin, so, I, so let's continue to believe and uh, offer sa, para ma, for completion ng building natin. Then, lastly, meron po tayong confession before and after the Mass. So, after the Mass, may confession po dito, andito si Father Adel. Uh, so, do, we encourage everybody to take part of this uh, sacrament, the sacrament of confession. Also, for those who are here, Please uh, stay silent lang po, tahimik lang po tayo as may mga nagko-confess dito. So kung mayroon kayong kwentuhan o meeting, sa baba lang po muna. Basta uh, let's keep the, the place quiet lang po muna. Okay, so again, maraming po salamat. Have a good Sunday po. Uh, please stand po.